Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Saeed Ali Abbas and today we are going to discuss how to find square root of an algebraic expression by division method. We have basically two methods. One is factorization method and the other one is division method that we are going to discuss today in this uh, short video. So uh, when we have uh, algebraic expressions that are involving higher parts of x or you may say uh, like the expression that is written over here, we usually go with division method to find square root of these types of algebraic expression. So in this video, I am going to discuss how to find a square root of any algebraic expression by division method and what are the steps involved in them and with the help of that you will be able to find square root of any algebraic expression. So let's start. So here we have a polynomial of degree 4 that we are going to use as an example for finding square root of any uh, algebraic expression. So now the very first step is you have to make sure that whatever algebraic expression you have it must be written in the descending power of x. Like you can see here we have x raised to power 4, then we have x raised to power 3, x raised to power 2, x raised to power 1 and here x vanishes. It means over expression is perfectly following the descending uh, pattern uh, in x. So you have to make sure that your expression must be written in the descending uh, order uh, of the variable involved in that particular expression. So the very next step is you have to write your expression under a division sign like that. So you have to write, you have to draw a division sign like that and you have to write your uh, expression or you may say polynomial under that sign like 9 x raised to power 4 minus 6 x cube plus 7 x square minus 2 x plus 1. And the next step will be you have to find the square root of the very first term that is 9 x raised to power 4. So you have to find the square root of 9 x raised to power 4. So the square root of 9 will be 3 and the square root of x raised to power 4 will be 3 x square. So what we get? We get 3 x square. So you have to write 3 x square over here and then over here. Now multiply both of these terms. So 3 multiplied by 3 will become 9 and x square times x square will become x raised to power 4. So finally we get 9 x raised to power 4. The same, the same value that is appearing over here. Now we have to change the signs. If it is uh, positive, make it negative and if it, 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 and if it is on, uh, with a negative sign, then make it positive. So here we have a positive sign. Uh, so we are going to change it to negative and we have to draw a line over here and then this positive negative uh, uh, results in negative. So 9 x raised to power 4 minus 9 x raised to power 4 will be 0. It means it will be cancelled out. So note down the next two terms that is minus 6 x cube plus 7 x square over there. Now we have to uh, further uh, move to the new steps and the new steps are very important. Then uh, after reaching that this particular stage, we have to add these two terms that is 3x square plus 3x square. So 3x square plus 3x square will become 6x square. And after uh, adding them, you have to divide the very first term that is minus 6x cube by this particular term that is 6x square written over here. So you have to divide 6 minus 6x cube by 6x square and this 6 will cancel out, negative will remain the same, x square and x cube will cancel out and we are only left with x raised to power 1. So we get minus x raised to power 1. So write this new value over here that is minus x and over there too. Again do the same thing that we uh, followed uh, in the earlier stages of this uh, uh, square root we have to multiply again 6x square minus x by this new term. So multi when we multiply 6x square by minus x, we will get minus 6x cube. Then we have to multiply minus x by minus x, minus minus will become positive and x, x times will become x square. Now I am going to move ahead. We are going to change the signs again like here we did in 9x raised to power 4 case. So we are going to change this negative into positive, this positive into negative and again this positive 6x cube and negative 6x cube will cancel out and uh, what we are left with positive 7x square and this negative x square. We are going to use these new signs. So 7 minus 7x 7 square minus x square will become 6x square. After that again follow the same pattern that we followed earlier. Then we have to, uh, we are going to note down the next two terms over here that is minus 2x and plus 1. 
plus 1 and I am going to extend this line. Now what we are going to do, we are going to add these last two terms that is minus x and minus x. We are going to write 6x square as it is and we are going to add these last terms. So minus x and minus x after adding will become minus 2x and again we are going to follow the same pattern that we have to divide this term the very first term that is 6x square by the very first term over here that is 6x square. So these uh, the both of these terms are same and it will cancel out and it will give us 1. So we are going to write 1 over here, 1 over here and again we are going to multiply this whole expression by the new uh, number or the new term appearing over here. We have to multiply 6x square by 1, we will get 6x square then we are going to multiply minus 2x by, uh, by 1, positive 1 that is minus 2x multiplied by positive 1 will give us minus 2x and we are going to multiply plus 1 with plus 1 and it will also give us plus 1. Again change the signs, this positive will become negative, this negative will become positive and this positive will become negative and again this positive negative will cancel out in the same fashion plus 2x and negative 2x will cancel out and this negative 1 and plus 1 will cancel out and we are only left with 0 and whenever we get 0 it means the expression appearing over here is over square root. So the square root of our algebraic expression uh, will be 3x square that is 3x square minus x plus 1 so uh, the square root will be uh, 3x square um, minus x plus 1 3x square minus x plus 1 and this sums up uh, our video. In this way we are going to find the square root of any algebraic expression. You may add the absolute value sign here if you are choosing the uh, positive uh, values only.